Hello everyone, welcome to Tangle with Tracy Ann. This week's tangle is a pretty flower tangle named Veruca. I'm starting off with a Zendala tile and I'm placing another Zendala tile on it to create a crescent moon kind of a shape. So I'll just trace around the edge with a graphite pencil, then using a Micron 01 pen, I'll start to draw the tangle. For my first flower, I'm starting close to the edge and you can see I haven't got a very long stalk. Later on, I can vary the length of these stalks and the size of the flowers. But this is the basic Veruca. And later on, we can add embellishments and even change the shape of the petals. So there's your basic Veruca. Now we can have some fun filling this crescent shape with this Veruca tangle. The pencil line is only a guide, so we can go over it wherever we want to. It just gives us a bit of an idea of where to place our flowers.
I probably should have started drawing this flower before I put in the rest of that stalk. So now I'm having some sections overlapping that I didn't really plan on. An easy solution if you do find you have little problems like this is to use a white gel pen. Now I can go over that here and if it looks a little bit grey looking, once it's dry I can come back and add another layer. In the overall scheme of things you won't even notice that white gel pen.
I'm going to keep this tile black and white so now I'm going to add a little bit of shading. If you wish to add colour then I would suggest use the colour now and you can always add some shading later or you could add shadows with your colours.
I've colored some areas in black as you can see here but it isn't very balanced so I'm going to add more black and thicken some lines and do some coloring just so that the whole composition looks a bit more even. At the end of the tile, take the opportunity to go over any lines that need a little bit more definition. I struggle to see while I'm drawing under the camera, so I often take it under a magnifying light so I can just fill in those little white specks that happen that I couldn't see when I was doing the original drawing. So here's the finished result. If you wanted to add color, you can, and I use some watercolors, and this was the result of that. I started this one a little bit differently. I drew the outline in pencil, added watercolor, and then later put my drawing on top of it. Here's another example using a tan tile, and you can see here, besides shading, I've added some highlights with a white charcoal pencil. And I've also used a gold gel pen. I don't know if you can see that sparkle there, just to add little dots. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and press the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future videos. If you'd like to see more of my videos, there are a couple of links here on the screen or head over to my YouTube channel. Until next week, stay safe and bye for now.